Hey, Dan. Let's try and keep it down in your room. I'm tired of getting calls. Hear me? Hear me, Dan? No more calls. Oh, hey, I was just about to call you guys. Anybody walked through here just wearing underwear in the last 15 minutes? That would be Dan. He's a mess. Dan have a last name? Yeah, well, he just came in screaming about something, ran upstairs to his room and locked the door. What's his room number? 308. How many rooms on that floor? Um, 10. How many are occupied? All of them. But the guests aren't in at this time of day. I don't really know much about anybody that stays here. I really don't want to ask. They really don't want to tell. This is not exactly the deluxe. Well, how long has Wells stayed here? Uh, about two months. Yeah, you know, I didn't have a problem with him at first. Then he kind of got weirder and weirder. I think he stopped taking his meds. Or he started taking some he shouldn't. Do you know if he was using drugs? Uh, no, I mean, I didn't see it, but, you know, he acted like he did sometimes. Do you have that previous address? Yes, actually, I do. Uh, another hotel, the Jensen. Also not the Deluxe. Do you know if anybody's threatened Wells? I don't think anybody in the hotel did. Outside, who knows? Well, did you know that his door and his windows were completely nailed shut? Oh, crap. I know he was making a lot of noise. I didn't know that's what he was doing. Eddie! Eddie, Eddie! Get out here, I need you! Yeah, what is it? Uh, we got a problem in 308. The idiot nailed shut his windows and door. Don't take care of it. Nobody goes in that room until we're done with the investigation. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what I meant. Thank you. Uh, I'll be around. Actually, the, uh, the the guy in the wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Did he have any contact with Wells that you know of? Mr. Link, spelled with a Y, by the way. First name Charles. Been here since before anybody can remember. He don't make contact with anybody, as far as I know. No one's ever heard him speak. Mm. Thank you. It's Laura Driscoll, room 305, across the hall from Dan Wells. I don't know what happened. I really don't know why you guys are here. I mean, uh, you know, she dripped, she fell. These things happen. Well, nobody saw it? Uh, no. I mean, we just heard a scream, and then she fell. And yeah, who found the body? Uh, our maintenance man, Eddie. You got him in the office. I'll get him. She's not dressed to go out. She ever wandered the halls in her pajamas before? Hey, guys, I don't stay up all night. The guests are going to do what they do. How long has she been staying here? About three months. You found the body? Yeah, I was uh, covering the front desk when I heard the scream. I didn't think much of it at first, you know. Need a room? Yeah. Just one night? That's all I need. Just passing through. Name, previous address, if you have one, checkout's 11. The 305. They have an elevator, but it's not working. Thank you. Jigger. Uh -huh. 